What is up everyone? This is FNH here with a brand new video to talk about how to live stream on YouTube 24 seven through OBS. So let's get right into it. So if you ever planned on like you wanted to live stream like either a specific game or something like you made through a bot, I don't know if you've ever seen those chat games or I don't know, something like what I'm currently doing right now. I've been live streaming uh, the Dow Jones or the US stock market, specifically the Dow Jones ticker for the past four days, I guess. If you can look at the top right over here, uh, you can see the time frame: three days and 22 hours, almost four days. Um, and you can see like currently there's still eight people watching. It is a Saturday right now, Saturday nine o'clock. Obviously you just see the futures occurring. The market is dropping. <laughs> so right now it's just more so like uh, um, uh, markets closed. So it's just out of market timing trading happening right now. It's not the open market trading. Um, anyways, aside from that point, uh, if you want to do something similar with the crypto or I don't know, whatever you guys want to do, because I know a lot of people want to live stream. Um, there's even this channel, this Japanese channel that live streams their guest, obviously with their consent. Uh, and then he gives them the room for a dollar. Live streaming is a huge thing. And some people like to do it 24 seven. And I'm going to show you how to do it. So there's two ways you can go about it. And right before we get into that, I wanted to show you how much money I've made in the past three days, just from live streaming what I just talked about. I do talk a lot about finance on this channel and I have a financial podcast as well in which I, if you guys want to listen to it, it will be in the description below. And you know, I just kind of commenting on like what's going on. So I, I, I went to something that's within my niche and target and you can see I got a thousand views. I got 60 hours of watch time. So it's a really huge way to get watch time, 22 subs and $20. So it's actually really good in terms of like revenue, how you're growing, what else is happening. You can see real time activity, how many views we're getting, uh, likes and dislikes, obviously. Etc. YouTube search, how it's coming, and all that. I wanted to give you the stats to show you, like, it's a legitimate thing to do. It's not something, there's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing false about it. It works. Your channel can and will grow with this. And as long as you're being legitimate, efficient with it, it matches your channel. It's it's legit. <laughs> and yeah, you go down that route. Um, so I'm going to show you what I've done. So I have it done through OBS, as you can see over here. And it's actually pretty s straightforward. Once you have OBS downloaded, I would just recommend you going to, um, I'll leave a link in the description below, but I actually have the old version. They actually released 25.1 now. And again, I, I don't want to disconnect my stream, hence why I haven't updated my OBS. Uh, but uh, same way you just go to, uh, you just have it downloaded, install, extremely simple. It'll ask you a few questions where you're trying to stream, Twitch, this and that. Are you using it for recording? Because you can record your screen as well. Are you using it for other purposes? A lot of streamers usually use this or um, I believe Streamlabs, which is integrated with OBS as well, or it's the same company. I, I, I can't recall. Um, but once you have a setup, what you need to do is you need to go to file, you need to go to settings, and you need to go to stream. I'm not going to show you or you can't even see right now, but in here, you put in your stream key that you can find from YouTube itself. And I'm going to show you where it is. So this one, which is right here. It's and again, it's hidden. I'm not going to show you what it is. Once you press reveal, you get the stream key and you put it into the OBS portion I'm talking about. You don't really need to do anything in general. Everything is fairly efficient. You don't need to do anything in output. Again, unless your stream is not up to date as it should be. Then you can change this obviously to match your needs. My things are usually 3,000, um, software, whatever, to X25, 264, et cetera, et cetera. I, my audio is usually fine. I talk about my mic. I usually mute everything. If I want to throw music in there, I, I usually put copyright free music. Um, again, completely up to you. If you want to commentate, you can say, hey, from nine to five, I'll be commentating. And then it'll still be on, but I won't be commentating. And then you can mute yourself and walk out. Um, your resolution, your hotkeys, if you want to keep any in advanced. Um, I usually would not recommend you because if it's something simple as such as what I'm doing, you usually just take this route and you put it in. Um, obviously, I have the screen set up a little bit. Uh, you can obviously <laughs> do a lot more different things. But the major rate thing you need to um, keep in mind is what are you trying to do? Is it an audio input capture? Is it a browser? Because for me, it was a browser. Uh, color source, display capture. Is it a game? If it's a game, you can obviously attach the game capture card to it, uh, such as the Elgato. I've, I've streamed and played like Mario and whatnot from a game capture card. You can do an image slideshow, uh, VLC video source. That would be if you're trying to do it, if you're a musician and you want to put your music on 24 seven playlist, you can do a VLC video source. You can do a video capture device or a window capture, which would be the actual window itself, uh, which means you're PC screen. And if you, let's say you did browse or something similar to this, you pop in the URL, you put the, the width and the height. If you're good at CSS, you put in a custom CSS and essentially you just go from there. 
Um, that's literally it. That's all you need to do to be able to stream from you on YouTube 24 seven through OBS. It's extremely simple, extremely efficient, and it works. Like I said, whatever your niche is, if it's gaming, obviously I would highly recommend you doing some form of gaming stream. If you're something like a finance slash tech channel, you could do something similar to what I did. Uh, again, more so because I, I do have a podcast. I do a lot of financial, um, talks, um, more than happy to listen to them and links in the description below. And yeah, extremely simple and extremely efficient to do. And just one last thing, this is where I muted myself so you can see the audios over here. If I click them, you'll be able to like then hear what's happening within the uh, desktop or the mic, which I'm currently talking from. So yes. <laughs> uh, so yeah, guys, let me know your thoughts and comments in the comments section below. If you guys have any, any comments, questions, or concerns, please let me know in the comments. Um, if you like this video, please smash that like button. It helps a lot. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell. And that, FNHL, peace.